This is the Gregory House, and this is overlooking the, what is it, Apalachicola River. And I'm going to try, oh, what's that over there? That's uh, some type of a tower. Not sure I can hold this still enough of some kind. Okay. Come back. And I'm going to try to go to this uh, primitive campsite. It looks like it's only about a mile from here. But if it gets as overgrown as the one I went to yesterday, I am definitely not going to continue. Huh, it's remnants of a hurricane just a few years ago. Hmm, hurricane Michael. All right, let's see what this is like. Starting out nice compared to yesterday. Hammock land and battery, huh? quite overgrown and some of these are sticky type bushes this is huh well I guess was confederate gun emplacement one pretty flat through that little area but you can't see anything Man, this would have been tough to be back in here in the summertime in these encampments. Oh my gosh, I'm sure it was cleared off a lot, but oh, I keep running into cobwebs. This is like a jungle back here. Muggy as hell. Powder magazines, whatever. But uh, yeah, this, oh, just hit another cobweb. i to start swinging this thing. All right. This is nothing here, this is nice, but there's a lot of overgrown areas. We've got another one coming up. Well, at least there's some marquees. I talked to a uh, one of the forest rangers here and he said, yeah, they're short of staff. They don't keep, they can't keep the trails maintained. They don't even come down here anymore. There's gun emplacement number four. Wow, they were all around here. Ah, oh, this has had its better day. All right, my goal was to go to Rock Creek Primitive Site, which appeared to be roughly a mile. And, uh, yeah, you don't need to tell me, but I don't know where the river's at. Um, so, oh, looky there. There's the river.
little bridge crossing, small creek. Water looks pretty good. If you had to, you could filter it and drink it. It's flowing. But this is definitely overgrown, not as bad as yesterday yet. Probably about halfway to the primitive camp. Let's see if we can make it. Climb up here. Oop, just got another cobweb. I uh, just came off of the uh, the rough trail into this little little trail. It looks like it's an ATV trail because we're real close to the primitive primitive camp. And if it's like the other one, there was a uh, an ATV trail that I used to get out instead of going back bushwhacking all the way back out. And sure enough, just like the other one, they throw wood out here. Well, throw it. They stack some wood. That's cool. Ah. Not that you need a fire. Maybe stand in the smoke to keep the mosquitoes from eating you alive. I don't know. So we'll take the little turn right up here to the uh, primitive trail and, and see what happens. The trail, oh, yep, the trail goes to the right. And the primitive campsite is right down here. So this campsite is listed, there's a number one. I came from number three, so maybe there's a loop. Yeah, it's not maintained, but that's okay. It's That's why they call it primitive. So I'm guessing number two is gonna be back this way. It's really quite a distance apart. I was thinking about turning around. Must have been uh, 75 yards maybe between at least, hard to say. All right, let's see if there's a number two up this way. No sooner did I say it than the number two pole. Somewhere. Oh, Average okay. pace 39 minutes, 50 seconds per mile. Oh, nope, that was my uh, map, my run. So pretty sure we're going to uh, around this corner and find campsite number two. Uh, oh, no, that's four. Didn't know there was four. And there's not much to this one. But, fire ring. Be a long... Ooh, I hear thunder. Maybe I better head back. So I'm not sure what this does. It probably goes to another one. But I'm heading back because I'd like to take that little jaunt down. It looks like it could go down to a river.
that's where it came from. And we're gonna go down this little gully here. That's level. This is down. Not not bad. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see if we can get down to uh, the river. This is this side trail, I don't know how bad it is, but you can see the river there. And over there a little bit. Doesn't look like it's very far, but it's farther down than it looks. So I'm heading back. This is the orange trail, the, the bigger trail. Uh, the one that I ended up close to what I call bushwhacking yesterday. Or was it the day before? Day before. And uh, this is back behind me is the way that uh, was taking me to the other primitive camp, but it's quite a ways. And that was some pretty bad bushwhacking. So I've uh, Accomplished what I wanted get to the other primitive area from the Gregory house uh, It's been interesting. I Don't see In the winter time. It wouldn't be bad to come here and do a little primitive camping. They supply wood but uh, There's really no views so Nope, not a not a big interest. I'm up this way might be all right to go out and camp All right, we are back. It's a nice big log. I wish kind of a blue colored lizard was crawling around on that. But we are back to the Gregory house. You can hear their air conditioning running. Enjoyable short hike. Very, very hot. Shower will be in order. Here's my truck. <laughs> 